Hello, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Serzion Hromish. I come from Novi Sad, Serbia, and I'm a young European ambassador from Serbia. Uh, and that is a project uh, which is um, funded uh, and supported by the European Commission. Currently, there are 20, 120 of us in the whole of Western Balkans. And the idea is to uh, connect young people and to uh, promote the European values here in the Western Balkans. Today, we have an interesting topic. We will talk about culture. Our two guests are uh, artists and they are part of a group of eight artists uh, who come from different countries, from Serbia, North Macedonia, Montenegro, uh, Italy and Albania. They are, cu they are currently here in Novi Sad uh, pay uh, working on a project, uh, on an art piece, which is a moving mural. Uh, and it is part of an initiative um, called Paint Me the Future of Europe. It is a project that uh, has been started uh, from the EU delegation to the Republic of Serbia together with the New Moment New Ideas company along with the partnership uh, with the Novi Sad uh, City Council on Culture as well as the Novi Sad Capital of uh, Culture 2022. Um, so the group of artists is here uh, in Novi Sad as I said painting uh, an art piece which will be presented on the Europe, Europe Day on the 9th of May on the main square in Novi Sad where uh, all of the audience uh, who will be present will have a chance to see it. And today with us we have the two of these artists. Uh, we have Andrei uh, Josifovsky from Belgrade, uh, Serbia, and we have Giacomo Zeki from Bologna, Italy. Hello and welcome. Hi, thank you. Hello. So let's start with you, Andre. Uh, can you tell us a bit about yourself, your work, uh, what, do you, what do you do? Uh, and how is it all connected with this initiative uh, that you're working on currently in Novi Sad? Uh, that's a tough question for for start. Um, first of all, I I did my uh, bachelor's. Uh, my name is Andrei Svoboski, as, as you said, uh, but uh, better known as uh, pianista, which means uh, the guy who plays piano. So that's my nickname, and that's the nickname nickname I'm using to sign my artwork. Um, I finished my bachelor and master studies at the University of Belgrade, Faculty of Architecture. And also seven years later, last year, I did my PhD. So now I'm working as an assistant professor at the same mm -hmm. university, Faculty of Architecture. So my main job is that I'm an architect and my hobby is that I'm doing a street art, that I'm painting murals. Uh, so that's, that's the thing why I'm why am I here today? Uh, and the Novi Sad is a capital of culture, as you said. Mm -hmm. So that's 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 uh, two main things in my life which I'm doing. Okay, thank you. And um, you're famous in Serbia, um, not only and beyond, uh, not only for your art but also for for your activism through different projects that you had uh, through different install art installations and so on. Um, how do you see the contribution of art and culture in general uh, in society? Uh, do you think that it is important? And if yes, uh, how much it's important for like a responsible way of living both now and in the future for a society in general? I think that it's very important uh, because every artist, if you agree, uh, need to to send a message uh, through through his artwork or her artwork. Uh, and if we are not doing that, we are only some guys who are decorating, who are doing something that it's beautiful and that is that is not art, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, through through my artwork, I'm I'm trying to to send powerful messages. And last two years, I am trying to do. Uh, that thing which I think that it's most important so it's our environment and uh, sustainability and everything which goes with, with our earth uh, so there's, there's that message is about uh, ecology, about uh, things that we need to save our home so that are with the plastic bottles and uh, the last one with, with, which is Lego figure that, that is uh, made with uh, recyclable materials so I, I'm giving my best and I try to do something that I think that can change mind to, to people and that they can understand what I'm doing and why is that important. Mm -hmm. So that's the contribution. 
Yeah, I, I agree that art definitely should be engaging and doing the active role in the in the society. So thank you for that message. Uh, let's uh, let's move on to you, Giacomo, and um, s similar questions. So you are from Bologna, Italy. Um, tell us a bit about your work. Uh, you are uh, a little bit younger than Andre, but um, what have you achieved so far? And uh, why did you decide to apply for this initiative and to come to Novi Sad um, to, to participate uh, in this project? So, yes, um, I'm Giacomo. Uh, you can call me Atsuki because that's as pianista. Uh, I'm Atsuki, but I get this straight name. Uh, yeah, I raised up in Bologna, Italy, very progressive city, very uh, cultural hotspot in Italy for uh, hip hop uh, music, for uh, art, theater, a lot of uh, different kind of arts. So I, I grew up in this uh, environment and that gave me a lot of inspiration for my um, education, for my um, thoughts about arts and living living stuff. I did my bachelor back in Bologna uh, in uh, in classics. So I do really love uh, history, archaeology, literature, and that's my starting point for uh, every uh, research and and my my source of inspiration. I always try to uh, get inspired by the cultural environment, artistic historically so, so social issue that are uh, in the contest uh, where I'm working it so uh, after these studies uh, I, I went to Ber uh, to Urbino in Isia uh, is a design uh, illustration school and and last September I, I had my my master degree and now I'm working as a graphic design um, freelance um, illustrator and street art, uh, street artist, of course. And I, I choose to apply here because, yeah, uh, Novi Sad Capital of Culture 2022 um, was a very, very uh, good, like, uh, inviting issue for me. It was very, very interesting because I'd never been in this region of Europe. First of all, second second of all, sec second thing is that um, Novi Sad is not part of Europe uh, and is capital uh, of culture uh, of uh, this European event. So it was really interesting for me to see how uh, Europe uh, is trying to uh, get inside Serbia and vice versa. So Serbia also is trying to approach to Europe and as a uh, Western uh, European citizen, citizen, I really want to, to see how it's gonna work. So I'm very interested in and since I, uh, I, I've been here since two weeks almost and I really love this city, I really love the, the culture inside and I, I'm very inspired by the people here, uh, the all the events about the European Union here, mm -hmm. so um, I, I'm, really, I'm really enjoying my time here. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you and we're happy to have you here. Uh, so you are a young person, um, an artist, um, so how do you see this uh, connection between the youth and art? Uh, what is the youth's role in art and vice versa and maybe so you said you've been in, in Novi Sad already two weeks so maybe you can compare what are some differences or similarities between uh, Italy or and, and Serbia or Novi Sad and Bologna so uh, <clears throat> uh, about youth or young art you mean young artists young artists or youth in general, if you think that it is um, affecting the general youth? Uh, so I, I, I saw a lot of young people here and also the festival that was made uh, on the 28th and, and 30, uh, 30th of, of April it was really, uh, it had the target to young people and it was really, really well made. So I, I think that the city is um is in, is is uh improving uh itself uh, in this direction so is uh, very near to to young generations and 
a difference between uh, Bologna's um, y young scene and year maybe is that that mm, in Bologna there are more uh, uh, different cultural uh, offers, but here it seems to me that is like uh, we are in the beginning of this process. So it's, it's, it's good to see because it's like a scene that is growing up slowly, it's like a blossom, like a plant is is making a blossom. So I'm 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 excited to to see this city and this scene in in five years. It will be more more uh, like I think better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Um, let's go back to you, Andre. So uh, you already mentioned some uh, some of it uh, with your alias that you use, uh, pianista, and what it means and what is the aim you're trying to achieve. Um, so uh, this uh, initiative here in Novi Sad, Paint Me uh, the Future of Europe, uh, how do you think it will resonate with the with the general public? What are you trying to uh, to achieve, all of you, all of the eight artists uh, with with this uh, art piece? Uh, first of all, nice to hear the things from Giacomo, Atsuki. Uh, because uh, actually I'm finding a lot here for, for art and culture and when I hear something that it's good for our country and for that, that we are going to, uh, it's very nice. Uh, so my idea for, for that wall was, uh, because uh, actually uh, the funny thing is that I applied also at the, at the same uh, as the same application to the to the future of, of Europe of Novi Sad to paint me to paint my future as is it called so uh, then they asked me because I put the the puzzle thing like uh, my concept and then asked me to be some kind of art director to to lead the the artists uh, so that that is also one tough situation uh, but my idea was uh, to connect uh, artists. To, through the uh, puzzle relation, uh, like uh, the bridges on, on Euronodes, we know the, they are connecting people and countries. So that's the, that's the same thing, but here on the, on the wall, first was the, the sketch for the wall, uh, later for the canvases. Uh, so now we have eight canvases, which are like puzzled and we can shuffle later. And uh, everything is the same because people, artists are connected and we are making one, uh, one uh, picture together when we put the canvases mm -hmm. so uh, that that was the goal and uh, every artist has uh, the freedom to to paint whatever uh, whatever he or she wants to to the canvas mm -hmm. and the the main message of the the canvas will be uh, actually we'll see but the, my, <laughs> okay. my the, but uh, main idea was that we are connected at the the art is and the youth is the most powerful thing in the world so we yeah. can say like that and i will say also nature uh, plays a huge role in our all our sketch because uh, i see a common thing is um, direction to the future yeah. and then connection uh, human and uh, nature or humanity and planet earth in yeah. In, in some kinds, in some way. And that was the reason we, we took the green palette for, for our colors yeah, and we're exactly. using the green, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Uh, so, and the, the maybe the message, uh, I wanted to ask you, Giacomo, Atsuki, uh, it's very interesting that you both have uh, aliases. I don't know about the other uh, six artists that are working with you. They're, they're also, they're, yeah. 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 Also. Every artist has his own. Yeah, that's very that's very nice. Uh, it's also helpful for the presentation on social media. Um, so uh, the I wanted to ask you about the the general message of your art in general. But if you want to uh, look back into this uh, concrete project as well, um, so what is the aim of your art? Your uh, your art pieces that you're creating. Uh, you're also uh, writing a thesis, which is an interesting topic that I read on on Etruscan. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, writing. right. Uh, that was really interesting for me. Um, so maybe you can tell us more about uh, this um, message that you're trying to sure. portray to the world. Yeah, sure. Um, as I said, for me, uh, cultural stuff and historical field is the main part uh, that uh, that for me is the the point. Uh, um, to, to jump in, into, into the next uh, uh, sketches process. 
So for me, it's like very everything that is very ancient and related to uh, social uh, community in in a region contest, uh, like in a very precise contest. So everything that is um related to our history our identity uh is part of ourselves so um in some some way it, it would be like in some some part of history it will be reused in a very um not proper way just to make like a, a power message but uh past could be very useful if you want to represent your identity your uh, uh, historical identity, your um, roots uh, with the territory, but in a very uh, concrete uh, and and simple way, I think. So, for example, my thesis was about the Etruscan writing, but it was not like an archaeological thesis about uh, what that does mean, uh, how it's written, uh, like this, like this. No, because Etruscans were the the people that were living in the region of Bologna before the Romans. So I I feel Etruscan like I feel the the they, they are my ancestors so i want to rediscover this part of history because it's not so um it's not so well known uh, outside my region as well so i want to represent again and also to give more importance to the aesthetic part of the of this thing so every time i want to take the past uh, relaborate in a, in my way and give it more important to the to to the essence to the um, to the artistic things so also the writing in the Etruscan history was a very important thing for uh, for, for um, like uh, just uh, giving a message uh, only with the the type of sign not with the letter so it was really interesting it was another concept uh, mentality and i feel i think that's really powerful in a way i agree definitely that uh, connection between the the old and the modern the ancient and the modern that's and right. the how is it all connected to our identity and the culture it's really interesting uh, and I think it uh, it will be portrayed definitely through your artwork here in in Novi Sad, uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. So let's wrap up with uh, you, Andre, and uh, just tell us with uh, this art piece, with this mural, um, when is it gonna be presented, and what's gonna happen with the artwork uh, later on. I'm here today in Novi Sad to finish my piece, my canvas, and then we'll complete it at our wall, uh, which we'll present on uh, Monday, uh, 9th of May, on the Europe Day. Uh, so we'll see at the main square, uh, Square of Victory. Mm -hmm. And after the after the, um, the the presentation and Europe Day is the artwork gonna move be moved somewhere? Uh, yeah, then because uh, we did like puzzles, we mm -hmm. did eight canvases, uh, uh, and then we'll separate it and it will travel, I think, through the Serbia and maybe Europe. So uh, that that's maybe the more most important thing uh, in our concept to to make canvases. Yeah, that's very interesting. So if anybody that doesn't get a chance to see it on the 9th of May, they will be able to see it yeah. later on. Maybe so maybe we'll make uh, we are considering to make a little performance. So maybe we'll take our canvases and then shuffle it and make a videos because uh, it's it doesn't matter if it's in middle or at the end mm -hmm. because it's a kind of never ending puzzle. Yeah, yeah. which is all connected. Yeah. Okay, thank you for this. Uh, and thank you uh, both Andre and Giacomo for thank you for giving us yeah you're yeah, very welcome here yeah. today. thank you for uh, inviting us here because I think it's yeah. uh, it's most important thing to to talk about art and culture and yeah yeah if so you if you make art then you you don't talk about this there will be like a piece of decoration then uh, yeah. it must create a discussion uh, people will discussing about this and that's that's art like social experience yeah the same yeah the same thing was in architecture when they started to to uh, write about architecture in international style and then that was the that part of theory is most important mm -hmm. same thing is in art so we that's need right. we, we need to talk about it and to promote it because uh, i am here because of it 
yeah. I think same. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was, I think, uh, also for our audience to, to hear your messages and maybe to experience art through your eyes, through your views. Uh, so thank you again for that. And thank you to our audience for listening. Goodbye. <laughs>